Bright House. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a swamp cooler to a nest and how to integrate that with Google Home. First we have the swamp cooler. Next you'll need a Wemo device. Go ahead and plug in your Wemo device the right way, and then plug in your small cooler. Voila. Okay, first you'll want to download the Wemo app. Go to App Store here and download Wemo. Go ahead and open it up. We'll get started here. This is the Wemo smart plug we have. It says you want to connect to your Wi-Fi. So what we'll do is get out of here and go to settings and click on Wi-Fi here. Select the appropriate Wemo. And you were connected there. Next we'll open the Wemo app. There it is. Says, let's get started. You always wanted to remember your Wi Fi settings. Click next to your email address. Then we'll connect to Raging Cajun Netnik. Now we're connected. You can turn it on and off manually here. Now we're connected. You can turn it on and off manually here. I want to change the name of this device. So I'll select to erase that and call it Swampy. That's the nickname I'm giving my swamp cooler. Save that. Now it's successfully named Swampy. Next you'll go to settings and can uh, the more right here and connect to IFTTT. Remote access required. Set up remote access. Enable remote access. It is enabled. Connect to IFTTT. All right, so we're connected here. Next, we want to go into the IFTTT app here, and then click on the plus sign up here for creating an applet. What we're going to do is create two of them to set the temp to 70 degrees. What we'll do is create a new applet at Nest Thermostat. If the temperature drops below in the family room, 70 degrees, so if the temperature drops below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, <clears throat> the Wemo switch, what we're going to set up now, will turn off. So we'll do a select Wemo here, click on turn off, and which switch, we call it the Swampy, and we'll set that up. So now we have an applet for that. Now let's set up another applet. So we finish here. All done there. Good to go. Success. I'm going to add another applet here. Say if this say nest. Not missed. Temperature rises above the family room. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, what's it be? 
Wemo device will turn on. So let's switch. Swampy next. We'll select finish here. And awesome. Success. Yay. So now we have the two applets set up. So if the temperature goes above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the Swampy will turn on. And if it drops below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, it'll turn off. Excellent day. I'm going to show you how to connect it via Google Home. So we'll select the Google Home app here. Then we'll go to the top left here and select Settings and Home Control. See at the bottom right hand side you have this plus button, you can add a device. So what we'll do is scroll down to Wemo and add on the Wemo. Let's go ahead and verify, ready to verify. So what you'll do is toggle your Wemo. And it'll ask you to say, yes that's me, this won't be on. Then what we'll do is assign a room. So we'll edit here on the right and click on family room. And now we're in, all done here in the family room. Now we can say our command and the swamp cooler will turn on. You can see it down here. It says swampy family room. We have it added. Now let's go do the fun stuff. Okay, Google, turn the Swampy on. You got it, turning on the Swampy. So if it drops below 70 degrees, I want it to turn it off. Which switch. I want to change the password. I want to change the name. Good dog.